Well, you disconnected, so there might be. Hello some. and welcome. Welcome. How's everyone well, sounding? Welcome to we the talk. Good. Well, my mic is not happy. Welcome. Huh. <coughs> welcome to Joy yeah. Gigs. <laughs> oh, God. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Hi. we're good. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Should I do the? Oh yeah, I get to do my thing again. Oh, I get to clap again. Oh jeez, Luigi. <laughs> that was <laughs> weak. <laughs> no, there's two of them. Oh, that's awful. No. Oh. Damn, that's sticks. not even a good one. Sure, takes my foot away. No, because you can't hear it on doves. Did you break all those? <laughs> oh. Oh, you could kind of. Uh, you know what? I'm done. <laughs> all right, we recording. Oh, you're an ass. Hi. You're such an ass. <laughs> Hey, what's up? It's Toy Geeks behind the counter, and they're laughing at me. What? What? No, <laughs> Stop it now. no that was good. Hey, mm -hmm. what's up? <laughs> this is Toy Geeks behind the counter. What's up? <sighs> You're. I'm Jack. I'm Ben. I'm George. I'm Dub. And we're actually <laughs> using that. <laughs> Wonderful. Yes, we are. Hey, Dub, welcome back. <laughs> Thanks for having me. It's been like, this is like your second week in a row on the show. Wow, I'm almost a guest host. <laughs> um, so, what's what's going on, Did folks? we tell people what they're watching? Yeah, we told them what they're watching. Toy Geeks behind the counter. What and do we, we do here? We talk about toys. Behind this counter. <laughs> and Dove's here. What does that mean? Which means there's a convention around the no, corner. No, there's no. No, because I was on last week's episode and there wasn't a convention. You were just buttering us up for this one. Yeah. Oh. You can't fool oh. us. That's what I like we're to do. We're on to you. Butter no, these I'm pretty guys sure. Up. I'm pretty oh, sure no. Dove's here because there's not a convention happening. Just tell him, Dove, you're not here because of a convention. I am not here because of a. <laughs> okay, he's here because of a convention. <laughs> I know he is. Stop all right, guys. well then let's get into it. What did you bring, Dove? Well. So first of all, what convention are you doing? It's New York Comic Con. Woohoo! <laughs> so the first thing we have that we're very excited about here. Do oh those my back. god. Oh, what fun. Is, so heck. one of our favorite artists is Lou Pimentel. And huh. he is excellent at the watercolor. So we asked him to do and 20. where is he from? Uh, New York. Oh, okay. He's, he's actually in New York? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought um, he was local. So. No. To he, New York. He did 20 uh, illustrations of vintage figures. And oh, we actually ruined the painting by gluing a blister with the original vintage figure Why to it. Why totally did you do that? Why? Why? Why would you? It's conceptual. It's oh conceptual. Boss hog. Um, so these are all original paintings. These are original one-of-a-kind paintings, yes. So you're basically saying he made 20... You're not like replicating these. These are these are not replicas. So this They're is original kind of one of ones. This is kind of like the manly arts thing that you did. It's very similar, except that uh, Jason painted the same figure over and over again. Right, which he gave. So basically, if I want Spock, I don't have a chance to pick from out of a, out of twenty Spocks. That's correct. If there I want Spock, there's one Spock, and whoever gets it first gets the Spock. That is correct. And however, however, uh, we are going to be opening up our Vintage Gold series uh, to commissions. And Ooh. people like Ben over here, who has gotten us the four Back to the Future reaction figures. Yeah. Um, and Lou is going to accommodate. So if there is something that we sell out of, uh, these are $165 each. And once the show's over, if we don't have any left, uh, for $165 and your vintage figure. As long as we have the blister to accommodate it, yeah. uh, Lou will keep painting. Now, will uh, he, let's say, will he do repeat figures? So uh, let's say somebody... Yes. yes. They, by he, the way, that one's amazing. He's going to have to because I already got like five requests for these <laughs> and I'm like, hey guys, I have to take it to the show because if I don't, I'm going to look like a jackass. So, um, yes. Well, plus it's not going to be, it'll never be it the same. It will never be the same. And I'm sure he'll change it up. Yeah. Um, so that one's so, so good. good. So as usual, you know, follow us at uh, on Instagram at DKE Toys. And our email address is DKEtoys at gmail.com. Bring um, it into the shop. If you have any questions, you have a three and three quarter inch figure that you would like a portrait of, just get in touch. We'll make it happen. Uh, here's a Lone Ranger, which is fantastic. So nice. Here's Ming the Merciless. <laughs> These paintings are incredible. And... Uh, Here's Harry Hamlin from uh, Clash of the Titans. So Perseus. Just to reiterate, these are these are 
These aren't bootleg figures. These are real Neil action McCoy figures vintage. that they sold. They were fully licensed. Absolutely. These so are, why are you so stuck on this part? Because <laughs> a lot of people, I think a lot of people, when they look at toys like this, especially the toys that Dove sells, um, uh, AKA the bootleg king. Oh, sorry. Usually, they're the figure inside the package is a bootleg figure. So a lot of them, like, we don't call it bootleg. We call it art. They have been recast. Yes, that's correct. That happens a, a lot. Like right. A recast. Recast figure. Yes. Recast. Recast. But in this case, we actually went out of our way to get the vintage figure, and a lot of them have a little wear, which I really adds to the charm. Like, look at Dracula's nose. Right. There. So it's like, like a lot of people might not know. Like, oh wow, there's yeah. an old. Some you know, Rule Ranger man. figure. But, like, but that's why I said each one comes with an actual vintage figure. Which is <coughs> awesome. It would be really cool if I had, like, you know, if you have your favorite from when you were a kid, and this is a great way to display your figure. Yeah. If you have your favorite figure from a kid, send it to us with $165. <laughs> oh, okay. And we will put it, it it's kind of like your baby shoes that you put in, like, bronze dip or whatever they it is did. a great way to display your figure like it's very cool. this, these paintings are incredible the the sad part to me is all the glue that you put onto this painting it's all conceptual. the glue well there's glue on it and now i can't take that off and have an amazing painting without having that figure i'm sure if you want to get in touch, both i'm sure if you want to get in touch with lou he'll just you can commission a painting exactly but we're not commissioning paintings here we're doing vintage gold Vintage gold. It says right here, you are holding a one-of-a-kind painted watercolor by Lou Pimentel. Each painting is accompanied by an authentic vic vintage action figure. Please do not attempt to remove <laughs> the figure from the package as it may damage the art. Vintage gold. Now let's say I had like, I don't know, a Gwyn from Series 3 mm -hmm. that was designed by Lou Pimentel. Mm -hmm. And I sent it to you. Would he paint the painting of his Gwyn to then put on a package? I'll have to ask him, but as long as we have the blister to accommodate it. I think you do. I think there's one I can use. I think, think that would be a funny one to do. I think that would be amazing. <laughs> uh, Vintage gold. But then I also thought I that eventually that. we can do one called bootleg gold. Oh, and there people, we go. Could, people could send in their Sucklord figures or their Rika figures or the Killer Bootleg figures, and then he could do paintings of those. Well, that's different though because he's not painting the figure. Ah, but he, correct. He is painting the character in real life as if it was the box art. Right. So he would have to do a little more interpretation in that case. And he, <laughs> yeah. he actually does in this line too, like the the Cobra Commander. He did that. He, I don't know which one the Cobra Commander is. Uh, uh, over the, uh, yeah, there it is. This one, right? That's not a real person. Uh, oh. Right, because it's a cartoon. Um, there are several others. Um, I sent him some of the, the Fisher oh. Price Adventure people. Like, oh, nice. Oh, there's going to be a Destro. Um, there's a handful of other figures oh, that you should price it. I had that beard guy with the red shirt. That'd be a great one to do. I want that guy. Just a bearded guy with a red shirt. I pity you, George. All right, I think I might have to look into this. I, I pity you. These paintings, his, these paintings these are, are incredible. Amazing. And yeah. for 150 bucks or 165 bucks for a painting, like totally worth it. Yeah. Um, the painting oh. without the figure from him generally costs more. Wow. Right. I mean, a lot of artists work with us because of the promotion, because we do oh. stuff like this show, because we get our, the stuff out to press. It's just it's good, you know, promotion, and so it just commits the time to doing 20 paintings. I so, like it. All right. all right. What else you got? We taking these down? We leaving? Yeah, them we gotta we gotta make some room for. I'm pretty sure, knowing you, you've got about a dozen or so more toys we need oh, to talk yeah. about. All right. So next one is uh, we got two pieces from Rika. First one here <laughs> is called the Liberator. You can the pass. Liberator. This is by Rika. Uh, They're seeing a picture. Don't oh, worry about that's them. right. Oh, it's yeah. a five-inch Statue of Liberty <gasps> inspired figure. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> God, why is this stuff always so good? It's a uh, signed and numbered edition of 30. They're $55. Very nice. Um, and the other one from him, this is a follow-up uh, from his cross-section series. It is called Cross-Section Ninja. It's uh, our favorite uh, hard-shelled karate. It's all George's You mean Ninja Turtle? I didn't say that. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Uh, <laughs> signed and numbered edition of 50, $60. Really detailed. Re Rika always kind of hits it out of the park every time. He's consistently, you know, has one or two figures for us every convention. What does George think, being the turtle George? fan? He hates it. George, what do you say? Uh, 
Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! A solid eh from yeah. George. How much does that one cost? Sixty bucks. This is half a metalhead, half a Raphael. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I don't need that. This one's cooler. At least it's something. This is just two halves of something, and then not even a half of the back. It's actually t two quarters of something, <laughs> smashed together. Ding ding. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when I walked in the door and I said, what's the matter with George today? <laughs> what? You He's asked. He's in good shape. All right, don't ask on. if you don't want to hear it. So we got two ah. Simpsons related figures this time. <laughs> you can take this. Okay. Yeah, that looks uh, this funny. is from Dogman Toys, a.k.a. Spencer Pollard. Uh, Vishnu. Preserver. I think he's like, this Preserver. is the first time we've uh, had a toy of his. Um, he's really stepped up his game. You know, in the past year, I think he's had maybe a dozen sold-out editions. That's really so cool. good. Um, this is Vishnu, edition of 25. All of these are hand-cast, hand-painted. I encourage what all the artists, even if they don't sign a number of their work generally, I ask them to sign a number Four of their work for us. Uh, these are $65. These are, this is great. Yeah, the, the board is... The card back is pretty crazy on that. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, he makes all this stuff himself. And for those of you who don't know, Spencer's also the bass player in a band called Trash Talk. Is this the same guy that made all those other Simpsons ones all the time? That always has these? This is the first time we've had oh, one of Spencer's a different figures. Simpson guy. Okay. You're thinking of Iconoclast? Okay. Manny Romero, maybe? Maybe, yeah. All right, here's another one. That's incredible. What? This is another first-timer. Uh, this is from Danny Wicked. Uh, wow. he, he made it. <laughs> He made a huge three-foot version of this. Uh, Barda finger. Barda finger. He's been talking to me about this for quite some time, and finally um, got it together. Uh, it's about eight inches Pretty long. Cool. Comes in a clear tube. Signed a numbered edition of forty. They're forty-five dollars. Ben, o open it up. Take the top off. If you got a kill cat, why not get a Barda finger put <laughs> next to it? Why oh, might? I don't, I think this. George, one's can you? I, I don't want to break it. I'm not gonna break it. Oh. Wow. And I love, the, I love the nutritional what? facts on you the back. You can pull it out. He's Whoa. even a little bit bit. You can pull it. The whole thing comes out. Oh, wow. He, he recreated the packaging out of vinyl. Like, wow. Applied the stickers. Wow. I just... Not so nutritional facts. Yeah. Such a home run, one this resin one. toys, series for container one. About one. Because we have one missing. 45 bucks. Wow. 69% original sculpt. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. awesome. I like there's a chunk missing out of them. It's mm. cool. Yeah. That's really good. That's a really good. cool piece. How come I've never seen anyone do that before? You'd think that would be done by now. Well, because it's hard. Here's the thing: it's, it's like hard to do this. There's a lot of guys in this game now, and they're trying to outdo each other. Yeah. And you can see, you know, we're only doing three conventions a year now, and so, like, I always tell these guys, like, whatever you want to do, make sure it's your best work. Right, because we're going to put it in front of a lot of people, and when they do that, and they hit it out of the park, everyone notices and everyone knows who they are. It's even got a QR code on it. Whatever it goes, I think Jack mm. approves. Yeah, it's cool. He approves of so little. That's not true. He yeah, I mean, confuses it. somebody else. Oh, okay. he really likes it. Next Jack one here George. is from Broke One, uh, aka oh, Broken Pigeon, Brady aka Brody oh. Kreps. A.K. Brandon. I can't read that, can I? I'm going to get bleeped. Oh, uh, bleep yeah. the force. You say F. It says F the force. The F force. The force. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that not okay? Wait, gestures are okay? Darth <laughs> what? Vader hater. Water? Vader. Vader hater. Yeah. It's an oh, ad additional Vader, 20. Hater. It goes to his Instagram. Oh, nice. Ah, yeah. uh, handmade edition of 20. Uh, $45, and the card art's by AWOL1, who's a, a rapper and recording artist in his own right. Thanks. And here is another Vader fun one here. Dork Lord. Uh, Credenda Studios, Bo Greener. Uh, it's Garth Vader. Garth Vader. I'll let you do the impression. He didn't make the finger with the finger. Sorry, hmm. George. What's the whole point of this one? Oh, man. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> oh, this, thank God George is on the show, too. Oh, this is why I, I sat out the last time Doug came by right the way. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. 
What about Garth Vader? Huh? Mm. Yeah? It's a funny play on words. Yeah? I think <laughs> George is holding back. Look, George. George. He's no, clenching his mouth. George is having trouble. <laughs> that's good. That's that's good. That's good. That's good, that's good that's, for that. That's 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 good. <laughs> I didn't mean that was good. I just meant that's good that you're showing me. <laughs> oh. Oh. Alright. All right. So Uh oh Toys posted this what? Japanese vinyl this. on yes. their Instagram. Whoa. Yes. With the statement, what do you guys think I should do with this? Give it to Dove. <laughs> and I replied, <laughs> make us a run. DKE would love it. Uh, this is a small Easy. edition. It's it's fifteen pieces. Uh, it's sixty-five dollars <laughs> hand-painted Japanese vinyl. What? And it's called uh, Cinematron. And this is his. Uh, he's released several <coughs> other colorways, but this is the one. Uh, Popcorn machine, space Painting. opera inspired one. What? Of robots. I just thought. How does it come packaged though? Uh, in this little bag. This little baggy. Uh, uh, that's with a, a shame. It doesn't have like a backer. Uh, he also has a, it comes with a little card inside that's signed and numbered. Yeah. It's very cool. That's funny. That's pretty damn good. So if you notice a trend here, um, prices are coming down and edition sizes are going down. And That's not good for the artists. Oh. Um, not, like a, not always, but it's good for the customer. Yeah. Uh, with toys that are traditionally too expensive for a lot of people I would say for New York mm. uh, out of the 20 toys that we have 15 of them are under 60 bucks Wow that's uh, is that an organic thing that artists are just deciding to do on their own or are they being given some guidance on that or um, I think it's just getting more competitive okay and I think uh, it, it, it also depends how what your following is like and how experimental it is the piece that you're doing Right. And if you're it's doing something super experimental and you come out at $100, if it doesn't work, I mean, it doesn't work, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if you want to test the waters, you do 20 pieces. You keep the price low. You see how it does. If it does well, you come up with another edition later. Okay. J just to um, understand, the Cinematron, <laughs> cine, cine, yeah, Cinematron. Mm -hmm. So basically... This is their this is their Sofubi figure, but they made the run of this color just for, for us, just for you guys for Correct. New York Comic Con. He, he's already released a, at least one colorway, but there might be more. You can check his Instagram. Nice, gotcha. really cool idea. That's these are really fun. And we normally don't carry you know Sofubi, but I just thought, why not? Fifteen piece run, sixty five dollars. I need one. Uh, Good. I need a set of that. You need a set of that? I need that one. Wow. George actually wants something? Yeah. Ha ha! <laughs> Victory! <laughs> you can go home now. No, just joking. D Dove's done. Uh, we found one that George likes. Indeed. Now let's go back to the stuff Dove that he doesn't like. Building. We started with one I like too. Oh, yeah. There's two true. things you liked on the show? Yeah, oh, man. Oh, get out of here. Oh, man, what's becoming of the world? All right. Dead Greedy. This is his follow up to the Beastie Droids. This is called Crum BFT. It's uh, $110 for the set of three figures, uh, all hand cast, hand painted. I always repeat, hand cast, hand painted. Everything here, hand cast, hand painted. Uh, signed and numbered edition of 20. Signed and number edition of 20. So you can have your run DMC hey, next Doug, to your in. Beastie Droids. Doug, lean, lean in, lean in, move in, lean more, in more. Oh, you sorry. are on the periphery. You need to like either scoot your chair or what? <sighs> Jack's crowding me. All right, good. Moving on. Crum. There's more? Does George have a comment? No comment. No comment, George? No comment? None, none whatsoever? George is self-censoring. To Chrome BFT. All right, so... Oh, okay. Jack Master uh, Play. Don't forget him. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Bruce Campbell Wayne. So this is from nice. uh, Mr. Blank Toys, who brought us the No Toys for Us last time. The little Jeffrey, the unemployed. Here you go, George. I th I think I need to see this You're one. Skipping Ben with yeah. this. Yeah, right. but he but looks so eager. But I, I want to see that so, so badly. He actually had like a, a little uh, thing online really where good. he tried to get Come people on, to funny. vote if it should have been called like Bruce Campbell Wayne or it was Bruce Wayne Campbell. Oh. I, I think uh -huh. he settled for Bruce Campbell Wayne. That's pretty funny. Come on. I, the art on the back for me just nails it. Like. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, what what's the matter with George? <laughs> At first, I didn't get it because of that. I just, I mean, I got it once you were saying all the names again over and over. But like at first, I was like, "What do these two have to do with anything?" Oh, because this is Ash. Does the back? Yes, it's Ash and Batman. What does that have to do with anything? It's a play on words, I Bruce think. Campbell. Yeah, it's Bruce Campbell, Bruce Wayne. I get it now. Yeah. You get it now. <laughs> <laughs> but like, he didn't use. It's not Bruce Campbell or Bruce Wayne. It's Bruce Campbell. Wayne. It's no. It's Ash and Batman. That's not. Uh, Bruce Campbell uh, or Bruce Wayne. Uh -huh. It's neither of the things he called it. He I could have called it Ashman or something like that. Like, I don't know. It's not Bruce Campbell or Bruce oh, Wayne. Oh, man. Sorry, dude. <laughs> uh, Funny drawing, though. $65, hand cast and painted, six inch carded figure, signed and numbered, edition of 25. Really nicely made. Really the cards nice really, the cards. I love his stuff. I crisp. like how, I like. The it. figure looks great, painting. I think, I think he does, nice. has got this kind of like wraparound. Yeah, the wraparound car is incredible. Yeah, it's like a book cover. Yeah, he did the That's same true. thing on that on that Jeffrey figure. I remember. Uh, oh, and by the way, I'm going to read something here. Yeah. Mr. Blank is uh, a founder and supporter of an Atlanta-based nonprofit festival for the performing arts called Classic City Fringe Festival. Uh, they actually have a Kickstarter up right now that I just pledged for, and as of this recording, they're pretty close to their $500 goal. Uh, if they get to 750, he's actually going to be releasing his first non-bootleg toy as a incentive on the Kickstarter. So if you're, I think it started a couple days before this airs, maybe? I think, maybe, I don't know. It was like a week before this airs. A week before, okay. So just uh, look up Fringe Festival. Fringe Festival. That's a so small goal, $500? Yeah, it's a non-profit, you yeah. know. He's already almost at it, too. I was looking at it this morning. Yes. All right, so all the way from Iceland, we have from Victor's Vintage. <laughs> Uh, mm. We've been collecting his <laughs> stuff for a while now. <laughs> <laughs> this one? <laughs> he likes it. Uh, so, Victor, uh, I've been collecting Victor's stuff for a while. And then fin Scarfield. finally oh. I was like, hey, man, you got to make us something for a show. And he came up That's with great. Scarfield. The artwork is, the artwork on the back. Victor's the one at uh, PowerCon that was selling the, oh, that the guy's He-Man the best. Gen genitalia. He sells nothing but power dicks, <laughs> and it's the greatest thing. There's every uh. every every penis for every <laughs> He-Man character. <laughs> you could say penis. That's legitimate. It's okay. You can say it so on K Rock. True. You could say okay. it on here. All right. All right. It's true. Um, he's got every penis made for every character, and they're incredible. I almost bought the Scareglow dick because <laughs> it's so funny. Like, but that one like sold out first. Then there was Mossman penis. There was everything. But Dude. did you see the other place that? Yeah, the with, yeah, with the slime pit. Oh with yeah, the, I saw the, the little slime vagina pit. and the slime. Oh, yeah. You put the slime in, and yeah. it comes out like. Uh, Incredible. Yeah, they sold like crazy. Like there was always someone there buying them until they were sold out. <laughs> Insane. I'm, I'm making the wrong toys. <laughs> I'm just making the wrong stuff, guys. Uh, the card art is by Justin R. Olson on uh, Instagram as uh, Olsisax Art. O l s i s a x a r t. Olsisax. Olsisax. Uh, All right. Next one we have here uh, is from our uh, funny crowd funny favorite funny Buzzard funny Guts. Funny this is a comic. Master Natural. Screw the universe is. Take on uh, Robert Crumb here. What's this guy's name again? Victor. I'm going to be going to Iceland for my honeymoon, so I might want to. You might want to talk to that guy. You <laughs> might want to visit Victor. Victor is also uh, a very uh, well known lead singer of a band in Iceland. Really? Yeah, called wow. Ret Retro Mutant. Oh, that's awesome. You should go to their site and listen to the songs. Uh, All right. <laughs> it, it, you will smile. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, he's a really nice guy. He'll be back out here for Decon, too. Oh, cool. All right. You'll get to hang. Say, like, hey, dude, can I come over to your house? <laughs> <laughs> or at least tell me where to go. That's cool in Iceland. <laughs> when I'm in Iceland. <laughs> uh, so that's Master Natural by Buzzard Guts. Uh, edition of 30. Wow. $45. This, <laughs> this comic in the back is hilarious and disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> and the card art is by David Mack. Uh, All right. Uh, wow. So this one here. This one is called Genocyber by Nekosatsu Toys. Now, Nekosatsu has this very distinct, all of their card art is a very unique look that you can identify, you know, as kind of like that brand. Um, I've been collecting this guy's stuff for a while. I emailed him and he said, oh, like you were the first guy who ever bought my art. And 
He's like, I wow. want to do an exclusive. So I got him on the phone, and we were talking, and his name is Henry Zach, and he's 17 years old. Wow. What? What? So wait a minute, how old was he when you bought his art? Uh, probably 17, or it could have been 16. Uh, he might be 18 just right about now. Um, we were talking, he was like almost old enough to have a PayPal account. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's starting art school, uh, this, I think, now? Or Wow. Um, nice. Well, good for him. Um, <laughs> for a 17 year old, like, um, I mean, this is good work for for anyone in comparison to what's here. But yeah, it's, 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 it's like, it's fits 17. Right in. Yeah, it fits right into the rest of these. Yeah. And when I say, like, the style is, like, unique and it's identifiable as his work, like, he's got his own signature style. Really. Yeah, that's not an easy thing to do. Very impressive. All right. What else we got here? Oh, this one says, take me to the Toy Geeks. Oh, yeah, he puts Velcro on the bottom. He put too. Velcro on it. It said reusable, cool. so I wanted to check it. Oh, what? Nice. Why doesn't everybody do that? That's brilliant, 17-year-old kid. Because <laughs> <laughs> most of them you're not supposed to touch. Hey, old dudes, listen to the 17-year-old kid and do it right. Put Velcro. I didn't even know you could even do that. Flat Bonnie is You back. can do anything. Oh, Flat Bonnie. Uh, baby I love Flat Bonnie. <laughs> baby Joe Abbott by Flat Bonnie. Oh. So good. Again, $20. What? Handmade, five inch faux fur $20? and vinyl pleather. Oh. Signed a numbered edition of 50. Well, who comes up with these prices? She does? Oh. She wants them to sell out. Well, they will. See, for an artist selling out at a show like this, like you kind of look like a superstar. Oh, hey, oh, George. That's, cool. that's what they want. She could probably sell it at 25. Her stuff too. always sells out. It's like... How many are there again? 50. Well, she doesn't want oh, to wow. keep them at home. She's not making them to have a living room full of them. I don't They're know how so she does it. They're so good. I mean, her fingers have to be bleeding by now. She's like, <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right, so Nick, job, yeah. Nick C. Kirk made this... Uh, Giant thing. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. This one is called Next. Zuckerborg. <laughs> Zuckerborg. <laughs> Uh. Comes in a stenciled, signed and numbered bag. little poly bag here. I was I human, I am human still. Not that I wasn't human in the past. The artwork in the back does it all. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. This artwork is amazing. You guys, like, oh, this, we have different definitions of amazing. This is, <laughs> this is uh, so bad. No, it's so bad. Yeah, that that got you nailed it. Yeah, that it's good. good. You should have stopped while you were ahead. <laughs> Uh, these are hand cast and painted five inch carded figures, signed and numbered to 20. And again by artist Nick C. Kirk. Human water glass disguise accessory to avoid the Senate. Ah. <laughs> didn't work though. No, it didn't. George? I don't have any comment on this one. Are you sure? Oh, George. All right, this is. It's really good likeness though, he nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on. I don't want these people to hate me. You just give your honest opinion. Nobody hates you. That's true. Nobody <laughs> hates Fuck you. Fuck them all. People, Every, people everybody hates love George. you because, Poor because you tell the truth. <laughs> so this is from Caterpillar. Um, which what is, is, the, is it metal, the card? Yes. Oh, wow. Great. <laughs> Thank you. So uh, <laughs> Caterpillar Toys oh my is, God, it's amazing. is killed. This is, wait, a, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Look at it. Wait a minute. It. Wait a minute. Did you just call this amazing? Look how wait, funny can is. you honestly say that is better than this? Oh, 100%. Oh, my God. Look at the face you... on that thing. Look, yeah, at, the it card. Is very Look good. at the card on that. Look at the face on that. Look at the packaging on that. Look at the art on that. And then do it all for this and tell me which one's not, which one's better. All right. The thing all right, all right, all right. All right, George is giving his opinion here, but right. the, the reason so why we, we have for. <laughs> such a wide variety of stuff for a show and not all the same kind of, even though they seem kind of same to some people, <laughs> is that <laughs> we're trying to appeal to a whole different, you know, group with each toy. <laughs> Look at the little one. I love them both. Look at I, the little one. I love it that that's I get Chorg. It. It's, it's Chorg. The, it's it's Porg. Chor it's Porg, Baca, and Chorg. They've okay. changed. Get it? The Chewbacca's become small. And the pork and so Caterpillar big. is oh. uh, Verba Pico it, and Kill. Um, is this a series he does, Space Battles, or is it? No. Okay. Uh, it's $75, hand cast and painted, 3.75 inch scale carded Have figure. Have you sold his stuff before? Yes. Okay. You know Kill. 
Sure. Kill and Verva Pico. They're mm-hmm. now they're, I they're now going by Kill stuff on your site. He's been making vinyl and resin for oh, has he? Yeah. Yeah. All right. years. Yes. Okay. Yeah. They go by Caterpillar now. Because mm. they do. Because now they're a group together. Oh. Ah. It's really nice. It's look, I, I like it. You know, but I like And both. I mean George has a point that like it really does but the painting and matches the you know card art really well. But right. So, some people like the political stuff, like Star Trek collectors. I, also, I was gonna say this. I don't care about Star Trek or Facebook political things. Like that's not my like this right. is funnier to me. But this other is, people are gonna think this is awesome and a play on words <coughs> on Star Wars. Exactly. Like, right. And opinions like in uh, someone yeah. can look at this and be like, uh, Great, more pork that one. More pork stuff. Great. More pork stuff. And, Great. And I do think, you yeah, know, like sometimes fun. you see a lot of, and there's a ton of Star Wars what else? figures, but this more. is painted really nicely. More toys. More All right. Yes. This one is called Different Episodes, Master Gary by Wazzy Toys. Different strokes. Mm. $45. <laughs> Uh, no, all of our prices include tax. I can only see it from the side, to be fair. That was not a racist <laughs> comment. Uh, hand cast and painted, 3.75 inch scale carded figure, signed and numbered edition of 20. It's a Yoda Gary from Gary Coleman. <laughs> yeah, Yoda Gary Coleman. But what oh. I love on the card is Todd Bridges' is Lando. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I wonder if he was like, if that's actually him <laughs> from an episode where he was playing I Lando. Don't, I don't think so. Oh, that's hilarious. George? George. Go ahead. <laughs> I love this thing. <laughs> this thing is incredible. Are you, are you kidding? No. Are you ever sarcastic on this show? Never. 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 No. No. This is completely straight it's laced. It's terrible, terrible, but it's amazing. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. There's I actually remember that. Ben's bad but good comment a minute uh-huh. ago? Yeah. That's bad, but this good. is super crazy. Like something's inappropriate about it. I don't know. Like, it's <laughs> absolutely. Like all this aside, I'm just looking at the little dude inside. Like it's not painted. This very is well. terrible. Like this is what no. Else? That's what makes it so good. But this. I just want that on my desk. <laughs> just have See, a different show. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna take that out of the package and just have it on my table. What? Then give me the box. I'll take it. All right, you buy it. You keep the box and get All it. All right, <laughs> settle down now. Oh, oh, hey. All right, so Scott C. is back Woo! again this year. Scott C. With the great he showdown. He was here. Signed and numbered right edition thing. of 50. $100. Sculpted by someone down there without da, da, an da, opinion da, about everything. Da, 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 da. No comment on this one. Oh, yeah, what, on. Do you, <laughs> what do you think about the sculpting quality? No comment on this one. <laughs> How, what do you... What do you I think I whoever mean, sculpted it, like the representation of the sculpt is... Not that, I mean, what shoddy work is this? Why isn't, no comment. <laughs> Why isn't what? Nope, no comment. What, nah. what were we gonna say? Can't comment on this one. Oh my gosh. No, this looks so good. This looks great. It's a great representation of his art. And, um, oh cool, you have the other ones. And I hope that we sell out previews and can, like in the market, oh. can take another edition so we could change the bandana color. And George was talking about putting the Change the pizza to uh, a different no, flavor the, or something. No, he's talking about putting the. If you look on the, the on the original painting, the other turtles are slightly different. So George wanted to change the turtle and make a, another addition, but maybe we're getting ahead of ourselves. Oh. Uh-huh. So the top four in the back here are all the ones that have been released so far. Yes. Does that mean that the bottom four here are the next ones to be released? It doesn't mean that. It means that? Oh my so God, that's here, amazing. It doesn't. We, we might have talked it about does? this before, but the problem with some of those other ones is it would be two full-size figures. Yeah. Yes. And creating two full-size figures might mean that it might need to be like $200. I'm um, okay with that. No, you're not. I'm okay with that. I am not sure. I'm not sure all if we can sell okay with that. like that Lord of the Rings. If we did that Lord of the Rings with those two characters, yeah, it was, if it was edition of fifty, would they sell for two hundred dollars? These are already. Can you do office space instead? And the it's problem still is going to be two hundred dollars. Yeah, so. I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> See now, if it was if it was like the one dude versus the stapler, like then we could do it. Oh. But if it's like multiple characters at the moment, but you got you got these have are all lumber. multiple characters at the bottom. Look, unfortunately, so much of this stuff is relatively so expensive for what it is. It's all handmade, so yeah. the prices are up there. How much is this again? Hundred. Okay. And they sell out. And they do. Is and that the price of the Great Showdowns? You got a hold of one yeah. for me, Dove. Okay. So I've got them all. Got to keep going. 
Gotta keep going. All right, and the last thing. Oh, finally. For <laughs> our, our resin master hey, carrying they've case. They've returned, but we, we have two more resin masters. Now, are you selling the, the case while I will, you're... I will have cases nice. at uh, New York Comic Con. So this is two more figures for your case. That's correct. Have you? Did you sell hmm. out of the first one? Uh, of the the Darth Trump? Yeah. I think we have five left that I'll be bringing to New York. They are not limited, so I told all the artists not to. <coughs> they're signed on the back, but they're not numbered, because okay. eventually I would like um, <coughs> me. all uh, twenty-four artists to just offer their own pieces on their site. Oh, nice! Because if these were limited, and then you started to collect them a year from now, then you can't get the other one. Like it so doesn't make any sense. My my idea was that these are so inexpensive. Um, uh, Janky's severed limb. Is fifteen dollars. That's pretty good. And the Say Utini is twenty five dollars. Come on. So it makes the severed limb. It make and in the painting, you know, the the wampa arm is like flying in the air, <laughs> like, you know, with his blood. <laughs> so uh, oh you could actually read the text that they wrote on the back. I think there's a billions of hacks, iconoclasts, plastic, fed junk through green funnels of plastic. Broken and healed by two feet bandits of time. It's good for you if it makes you feel fine. A dollar, a slice, be greedy, be dead. Just because it's janky, don't skip special ed. So he managed to get, I think, all the names of all of the artists on the Karen case into what you just read. Wow. Except for Rika, because that's not like a word. <laughs> I didn't notice that. Was that on the last one? No. Just on this every, one. Because um, they all have their own little. Mock Toys writing. created the template for this, uh -huh. and so I give the template to each artist, and then they add their own shtick to it. And these are fifteen each. Uh, that's twenty-five. The Wampa arm is fifteen. And the case is how much again? Fifty. Fifty. So, nice. so just everyone, just follow us on Instagram at DK Toys. Um, if you're interested in anything. <coughs> We do a wait list. Um, we do a lot of mail order. You just have to be in touch. It's dkatoys at gmail.com. If you want to see images of all this stuff uh, in a more conducive format to pictures, uh, go to dkatoys.com, click on the Flickr link, and you'll see albums for each convention that we do. Well, it's the same pictures that we show here. Yeah, uh, but you're showing like one picture yeah, of each. We have tons of pictures. We have actually. like 50 pictures work sometimes, pics. work in progress oh. for... Yes, yeah. so if you want to keep you'll out, see that's the, the place five to go. stages of his starting from his pencil to nice. all the way down. Oh, the stages, the so stages. if you really want to nerd out and see the whole process, go to the Flickr. Right, this is cool. So, well, thanks, Duff. Thanks for bringing all this down. Thanks for having us. I really and, appreciate uh, it. As always, I did not mean to offend anybody. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Said. Send yeah. your hate mail. Wait, Tell yeah. him he's apologize? a dick. Yeah, everybody loves don't apologize. Two minutes of hate with George. I don't. Sorry, did it's I say dick? Tell him he's a penis. I'm allowed to say penis. <laughs> it's not against the artist if I don't like the penis. You're allowed your opinion. Just because Ben yeah. likes everything. What's the disclaimer? I don't like <laughs> everything. I'm you down like everything. with this disclaimer. I'm, I'm just like... I mean, there's ben some is stuff. just supportive. There's some pieces where I'm like, oh my god, no. There, there, there have been times where I'm like, oh my gosh, no. No. Yeah. Those are the ones we sell out of. But yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Like that Simpsons That's one. Remember that one? Oh, my God. No. <laughs> but look, oh. our, our goal now, now that That's we're horrible. only doing three shows a year, and because this this formula only works at three shows, um, I'm just encouraging all the artists to do smaller editions. We want to sell out. So, again, if you want something, email, please. Thank you. DKTOYS at gmail.com. It's right there. There you go. Pork Baca is waiting for you. <laughs> all right, everyone. Thanks for watching, um, and don't forget to join us next week for another episode. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share, don't forget to comment, don't forget to send hate mail to George. That's a Just lot of Just do all of that stuff. No, it's not. It's Come on, it's good. Uh, show us how you watch. We love the Instagram stuff, and um, I think that's it. Do any of those things and we'll be ecstatic. Thank yeah. you. See you guys. Bye. Bye.